Hey there, lab rats. Welcome back to the Taekwondo Lab. My name is Coach Husky, and here's what we'll be going over in today's video. Here we are in the lab, where athletes like you hone their skills to take their game to the next level. Want to know when we're coming out with new videos just like this one? Then smash that like button and follow us on our Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. That way, you're always in the loop on the latest Taekwondo strategies, and you never miss out on a contest or giveaway exclusive to our social media followers. Today, I'm joined by Haiti national team member, multi-time AAU national team member, multi-time national champion, the 2022 Junior Pan American gold medalist, and the number three world-ranked junior athlete in the minus 73 division, Sean Lowe. Ready to get started, Sean? Yes, sir. Swiping is another way to defend against the cut kick. Swiping is also a pro-level technique due to the timing involved and the risk it presents for getting scored on. However, when trained correctly, swiping can be a very powerful defensive tool. There are two methods we use here in the lab to swipe the cut kick. The draw and swipe and the step back and swipe. The draw and swipe combines the draw technique taught in an earlier video. Click the link above to view that video first if you haven't already. While performing the draw, take your lead arm and move it slightly towards the outside of your body, just enough to allow the cut kick to pass through. At this point, you would wait for the foot of your opponent's cut kick to pass your arm. When it does, turn the back side of your hand towards the opponent's calf and attack the calf by swinging your arm across the body. When done properly, the swipe should be done forcefully with the intent to disrupt the opponent enough so that they are off balance. This will allow you to take advantage of your opponent's position, giving you the opportunity to execute an effective counterattack. In this case, Sean performs a face level lead leg ground kick. The step back and swipe combines stepping back with the swipe technique. To perform the step back and swipe, Simply step back. While stepping back, position your rear arm, which will now become your lead arm, in the front arm guard position for sparring. However, ensure that the arm is just outside the body and not in the direct path of your opponent's cut kick. Just like the draw and swipe, when the cut kick passes the arm, turn the back side of your hand towards your opponent's calf and attack the calf by swinging your arm across the body. Here, you can see Sean using the step back and swipe with a face level lead leg round kick. The most common mistake with the swipe is using the palm of the hand to swipe the leg. This will almost certainly earn you a point deduction, so be sure to use the back side of the hand when performing this technique so that there is little room for error. That's all for this week on the Taekwondo Lab. Make sure you follow and check into the lab on Facebook during your next training session. We want to know what you're doing. Also, make sure you tag and follow us on Instagram, especially if you're trying some of our stuff. We love to see videos of your training sessions, exercise routines, and just general Taekwondo videos. Until next time, lab rats.